The following episode of Common Sense contains no cuss words. Finally. And also, no bare chest. Thankfully. Hi everyone, welcome to Common Sense. So I'm here with Jerry Lewis, and um, this is the first female we've ever had on the show. So that's, that's an accomplishment, right? Right. Also, um, I just wanted to say that if anyone ever has any problems with pronunciation, they can feel free to look down here. They have It has the correct writing of the words. And also, uh, the game's played pretty much the same this time, only there's a little bit of a change to one of the helping hands. So now it's eliminate two. So a person can just uh, eliminate one, and then they can eliminate a second one. They can make this a 50-50 or they can use it as like two lifelines. They can eliminate one and then eliminate another one on another question. Okay. And there is also Ask Jared, and uh, Jared is a 50% chance that he's telling the truth. And there's also Ask Dad, who is out there, and he can oh, help okay. you out if you, if you need it. Okay. All right, so we're going to start. Today's section is literature. How do you think you're going to do, Mom? I don't know. I think you're going to do incredible. <laughs> I, I have full confidence in you. All right, so question number one. Mm -hmm. Who wrote the novel War and Peace? Was it A. Henry Fielding, B. Leo Tolstoy, C. Charles Dickens, or D. J.K. Rowling? Remember, it's written right down here if you want to uh, uh, look at the, uh, look at the, the correct names. spellings. Yes, that's correct. Just don't look down here. Who wrote the novel War and Peace? It wasn't Charles Dickens or J.K. Rowling. All right. So it's, so it's Leo Tolstoy or Henry Fielding. And I should know who wrote War and Peace. Really don't say that. Right. War and Peace. I've never read War and Peace. It's too long and boring. <laughs> you tried though, right? Oh, um, yeah. And that might have been Don Quixote. I don't think it was. I don't really care about that stuff. Um, hmm, I know it isn't too long, so it's just a. You, you can always Henry feel free Fielding. to use your helping hand. I don't know who Henry Fielding is. Hmm. Leo Tolstoy. I think Pew knows the answer back there. <laughs> um, I'm going to say... I'm going to say... Let's have a helping hand. All right. Uh, it's one of the two. Why don't you take away one of the other two? Okay, so do you want to do eliminate one or eliminate two? <laughs> All right, so it is either uh, Leo Tolstoy, Charles Dickens, or J.K. Rowling. Leo Tolstoy. All right, that is correct. On to question number two. Which is not a book by Fyodor Dostoevsky? Is it A, Barnaby Rudge, B, The Brothers Karamazov, C, The Idiot, or D, Crime and Punishment? Oh. Which is not a book, but the D. Yeah, and that, that's how it's written. Well, I read the brothers. Karamazov. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce that. I, 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 did, I do look Which these up. Is not a but book. I'm going to say crime and punishment B. Is that your answer? Yes. That is incorrect. It was actually Barnaby Rudge, which was created by Charles Dickens. Um, okay, well, you're still okay. You've only got one X, so you're still in the game. So, question number three. In the book, Don Quixote, who was Don Quixote's sidekick? Was it A, Sancho Panza, B, James Watson, C, Marty McFly, or D, Samson Carrasco? So was it A, Sancho Panza, B, James Watson, D, C, Marty McFly, or D, Samson Carrasco? I think it's Sancho Panza. Is that, is that your answer? Yes. That is correct! Congratulations! You're up to three. All right, moving on to question number four. Which of the following is not a main character from Harry Potter? Was it A, I didn't read. Her, 
Hermione, B, Ron, C, Neville, or D, Pip. And if, if you don't get this right, the whole internet is going to destroy you. I've never read that <laughs> book. What's just the following is not a main character of Harry Potter. A, Hermione, B, Ron, C, Neville, or D, Pip. What is not a character? And you still have a lot of helping hands, actually. You still have all three. I'm going to do two. So you're going to choose, you're going to eliminate one? Yes. All right, so Two. the, well, you only get one because you've okay. already eliminated one. Oh, okay. okay, so it's either Hermione, Ron, or Pip, which of the following is not a main character one from Harry three. Potter. Uh, yes, uh, well, yes, ma'am. I knew Neville was. Gosh darn it. All right. I think I'm going to say Ron B was not a character. Is that your answer? Yes. All right, that is incorrect. You're on to your second strike. But that's all right. Uh, the correct answer was Pip. Uh, I think I think the whole collective internet is sighing at your answer there. Okay, so, um, hold on one second. Okay, okay, here it is. Which is not a book written by Robert Louis Stevenson? Is it A, Treasure Island, B, Kidnapped, C, The Sea Wolf, or D, Dr. Eichel and Mr. Hyde. So which Dr. is Jack not a book by Dr. Robert Louis Stevenson? No, that's the correct pronunciation. That's the way the writer wanted to it, it pronounce. People have been mispronouncing it for like years. What writer was that? Uh, Robert I Louis Stevenson. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, how this goes is if, if the uh, game creator makes a mistake, that means the contestant gets gets um that doesn't count against the contestant <laughs> you trickster you little trickster no 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 she i was if, just joking around in the professional game shows if the game show makes a mistake no, the contestant give her, give her an extra F no that doesn't count that's my fault i i screwed up and she manipulated me. <laughs> okay, well, so I knew it was one of two, and I probably would have guessed that one. So okay, it really so sucks. it's kidnapped the sea wolf, or Treasure Island, or Treasure Island kidnapped the sea wolf. I get it. Huh? So, um, which is not a book written by Robert Louis Stevenson? Treasure Island kidnapped or the sea wolf? And you still have two sea, helping hands. The sea wolf. Is that your answer? Yes. That is correct! Mom, you're moving on to question seven! You still have a few helping hands, too. Yeah, you're still two helping hands. You're doing as well as Dad, really. All right. <laughs> from what writer did the monster known as Cthulhu come from? Oh, Lance. Was it A, Stephen King, B, Edgar Allan Poe, C, Bram Stoker, or D, H.P. Lovecraft? All right, remember, you still have your two helping hands. I don't think it's Edgar Allan Poe. Oh, I don't think, I think it's Stephen King. I think it's a monster name. I think it has to be a monster. I don't know who H.P. Lovecraft is. I'm going to say C. Bronze Stroker. All right, is that your answer? Yes. That is incorrect. I'm sorry, it was H.P. Lovecraft. That's pretty good. You Crap. still made it to seven, Mom. I Congratulations. Did you should have did a helping hand. Yeah. Yeah, that's what yeah, I would have done, to be honest. But that's all right. Hey, you did a great job, Mom. I'm very proud of you. Yeah, you you made it to question seven, and that's what I thought. I thought you'd make it to question seven. I had a good feeling. No, well, but anyways, that's all. Thank you all for joining us for Common Sense.